Hey everyone, I'm Colleen with Awaken Catholic and this is Awaken the Saint. Born in Buckinghamshire, England in around the year 1567, Blessed Robert Drury grew up Catholic in a Protestant ruled England. In 1588, when he was a mere 20 years old, Robert left England to receive his education in both France and Spain and was ordained a priest in 1593. Upon his ordination, he returned to England and made it his mission to minister to Catholic converts in London. Robert remained a priest concerned with adherence to the supremacy of Rome and unwilling to contradict the doctrines of the church during a time when England was increasingly more anti-Catholic. In 1603, the English government invited Robert Drury along with 12 other leading priests to sign an oath acknowledging the queen as their lawful sovereign. In this decree, they were to agree to reveal any attempts to overthrow the English government and to denounce the forced reversion of the people to Catholicism. In signing the oath, the priests acquiesced to render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, with the condition that they be allowed to remain loyal to the Pope in spiritual and religious matters. As such, they proved themselves to be both patriots and loyal servants of Christ, declaring that they stood ready to spend their blood in defense of Her Majesty, but on the other hand would rather lose their lives than infringe the lawful authority of Christ's Catholic Church. Sadly, the queen died just three months later and her successor, James I, was not content with a merely civil allegiance. He had a new oath of allegiance drawn up and imposed on July 5th, 1606, in which the king was declared the authority on all matters of faith. It was at this time that Robert was arrested for being a priest and offered his freedom if he would only sign the new oath. It should come as no surprise that Pope Paul V had condemned the oath as containing many things contrary to the faith and salvation. However, Robert himself was probably not aware of the Pope's declaration on the matter due to the Archpriest of London suppressing the matter. But Robert's heart convicted him. His conscience was already instructed by the Holy Spirit and he refused to sign the heretical oath. He put into practice the very words of his previous oath that he would rather give up his life than go against the teachings of the church. And so on February 26, 1607, Robert was hanged, drawn, and quartered. He was one of the 85 martyrs of England and Wales beatified by Pope St. John Paul II in 1987. In this increasingly polarized age that we live in, it seems harder and harder to walk the fine line between loyalty to your nation and its leaders and remaining true to Christ and his church. Ultimately, like Robert, we should have a deep love for our people and a sincere desire to give patriotism its due. But to always keep God as Lord and King of our hearts, our lives, and our souls. There should be nothing scarier than the thought that we might come to the end of our lives and find that we gave our ultimate loyalty to the kings of this age rather than to the king of the universe. Blessed Robert Jury, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint.